Last week, China announced a new set of measures tightening its control over rare earth exports. The move includes new licensing requirements, addition of five more rare earth elements to its export control list, and restriction on the technology sharing. It's important to note that China is the global leader in rare earth production as well as refining, and any such policy shift will have a ripple effect across the global chain supply in the global market, including that of India's. In response, the government of India is all set to implement National Critical Mineral Stockpile, an initiative aimed at reducing the dependence on critical mineral imports. Under this, the government will be creating a two-month strategic stockpile with an emphasis on the private sector participation. The initial focus will be on the rare earth elements, and later this will be expanded to cover other critical minerals as well. This move perfectly complements the ongoing reforms of the government to promote domestic production, exploration, processing, and recycling of such minerals. The development also gains a significance in the backdrop of Taliban's foreign minister inviting the Indian companies to invest in Afghanistan. However, if India truly aims to achieve Atmanirbharta in critical minerals, it must scale up investments in extraction technologies to secure its strategic future. What are your recommendations to the government of India in order to become Atmanirbhar in this particular sector? Do let me know in the comment section of the video. And for more such interesting content, subscribe to our YouTube channel now.